Okay. So in this video we're going to go through deriving some of the direct kinematic equations for um, one of the joints uh, to, to find that central position on our robotic arm. Um, I'm going to go through the direct kinematics with you uh, and then it will be your job as part of this lab to go through the inverse kinematics by yourself uh, as part of your group and, and uh, with the tutor's help in the labs. The good news is that the process is almost identical, you just need to change some of the variable names around. So let's get started uh, by taking a look at the position just of our left hand motor and that first joint. Um, doing that is very very simple so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brand new one of these erase everything there and we can start from scratch so um, here is my uh, here is the position of my motor uh, and it has the location X M1 Y M1 and that stands for the X and Y position of the of the first motor now you can actually measure this on your SCARA arm if you uh, open that Moni software and you have a click around with the mouse you can click and find out what the position of that will be so it will just be values and pixels it might be 250 300 but remember those are just numbers and what we want to do from there is we want to calculate the position of our first joint so let's say our first joint is is up here so I can draw that arm and we know from the armature from seeing these set up in the lab this has a constant length which I'm going to call R. Again in the lab you will actually measure what this value is and the final thing we need to know to calculate the location of this point up here is what is this angle. So I'm going to draw a dashed line, imagine that straight, sorry, along the bottom there. That angle there I'm going to call theta 1 and so my question is what is the x and y position of joint 1. So I call this xj1 and yj1. So it is relatively simple to write an equation for that. Why? Because this is simple trigonometry. So let's start with the x values. So I can write an expression for xj1 which says what will that be? So how far across the page will that be? Well if you remember um, if I have a, a length r and I decompose that into its x components and its y components the cosine of this angle will give me the x component of that so I know that this distance here the distance along the x axis um, that this arm travels will simply be r times the cosine of theta 1 now that's almost my entire equation done, not massively hard. The big difference is that what about this whole distance out here? And the good news is that I already know what that is. That is just that x value there. So my equation for that first point is going to be r times cosine theta 1 plus x m1 or the position, the x position of motor 1. Exactly the same process for the y position of joint 1. So I can write y j1 equals r, but it's not cosine theta anymore because I'm not looking at the x component, I'm looking at the y component, which is of course sine theta 1. And once again, I have to take this position up here, up the page, so it's going to be plus y m1. And so very simply, that first process is calculating the position of the joints. So go ahead now and try doing that for the other uh, for the other arm. I'm doing it for the left arm, you can do it for the right arm, so I call it um, xj2 and yj2. 